The basics in avoiding the warden's shoulder bash lies within the dodge timing and the guard break afterwards. This is the same on every hero in the game. Let me show you what I mean. Here I'm being very patient, waiting and then dodging. A fully charged shoulder bash from the warden gives him a free heavy, however the short one only gives him two lights. Another benefit of doing it this way is that it gives you more time to react to a guard break if he cancels into it. Another viable strategy is utilizing a fast attack to interrupt the shoulder bash. If your opponent starts to parry the light attacks, then you just mix in some heavies. Another basic tool to use is the dodge attack. This is only some heroes in the game who has it though. If the hero has a light dodge attack and a heavy dodge attack, I would strongly recommend using the heavy one. The timing is the same as doing a dodge guard break, however these dodge attacks seems to be more forgiving. On Conqueror, one of the best options is to dodge to the side and then doing your own bash. This will in most cases win over the Warden's bash. Another option is delaying the input of the button after the dodge. This will give you a guard break instead of a bash which guarantees a side heavy. Lawbringer can in many cases push his opponent out of the shoulder bash. This does not always work but is still a viable option. The push guarantees a light. On Gladiator you have many options. One of the better ones is doing a toe stab the second you see him start his shoulder bash. Another viable option on Gladiator is doing the side dodge and then the bash. That will most of the time overrule the wardens. On Warden it all comes down to timing. If you time your shoulder bash correctly it will overrule your opponents. A good option is waiting for him to attack and then doing yours. Your best option on Peacekeeper is doing the dodge attack to the side followed by the guaranteed bleed. On Centurion you can kick your opponent out of the shoulder bash. This does only work when he charges it for a long time. The short ones will overrule your kick. On Black Prior you can flip him over your shoulder if you time it correctly. But be careful that your opponent doesn't guard break at that moment because you can't counter. On Raider you can dodge to the side and then do the top light. However, a better option is dodging to the side and then doing the guard break. This guarantees you more damage. On Berserker you can do the dodge side attacks. However, a better option will again be dodge to the side and then guard break instead. On Highlander, when in offensive stance, if you dodge the shoulder bash, you get a guaranteed unblockable heavy. Warlord can in many cases headbutt Warden out of his shoulder bash. On Valkyrie you can dodge back, then do your own bash, 
The timing is hard and it guarantees a light. Another option on Valkyrie is doing the dodge to the side attack. The timing is a bit more easy and more forgiving. On Shaman you can do the dodge back heavy attack. The timing is not easy but it gives you a guaranteed heavy. The best option on Shaman though is the dodge to the side heavy attack. The timing is easy and it's very very forgiving. On Yormungandr you can punch the Warden out of his shoulder bash. This will work in many cases. On Kensei your best option is the dodge to the side attack. On Orochi you can do the dodge back light attack, however the timing is tricky. Another viable option on Orochi is doing the dodge to the side attack. This has an easier timing and is therefore more forgiving. On Shinobi you can do the double dodge to the side, followed by the kick, followed by guaranteed heavy. That is your best option. On Shigogi you can just do the light attack to interrupt the shoulder bash. Another great option is dodge to the side, guard break and then get a guaranteed heavy. On Nobushi you can utilize your stance. There's two ways. You can either kick him right out of his shoulder bash or you can wait and kick him out after it. Another viable option is also the dodge attack to the sides. Aramusha doesn't have anything that directly counters this warden's shoulder bash. So the only options you have is to dodge to the side and guard break or light attack him out of it. Hitukiri doesn't have anything in his kit that directly counters the warden's shoulder bash. So your only options is to dodge to the side and guard break or light attack him out of it. On Tianti you can interrupt the shoulder bash by punching. This will work in most cases. Another viable option is utilizing the dodge to the side heavy attack that he's got. On Nuxia you can do the dodge to the side attack, however a better option is doing the dodge to the side guard break which guarantees you more damage. On Yang Yun you can use your stance to avoid the shoulder bash if timed correctly. Another viable option is dodging to the side doing the heavy attack. On Shaolin your best option is dodge to the side heavy attack. This has a pretty good timing and is easy to do. Another option on Shaolin is go into your stance and then do the untouchable attack, however this does not work always. On Sanhu your best option is do the dodge to the side heavy attack.
I hope you found this guide useful. If you like my content then please like and subscribe. I will post more content regards to Forana and guides in the future, so stay tuned.